So Aneta Okoye, Paul Okoye's ex-wife, reacts to Peter Okoye's public statements where he revealed all the weirdness melted at him by his brothers, Jude Okoye and Paul Okoye. So according to her, she wrote on her Instagram story and said, when the MAD calls, they can't figure out how you are still being blessed after they have created fake narratives, lied and slandered your name with um, this laugh, eh? this laugh go Harvard, I no go lie. Popular on air personality, Dutton, he said, sometimes the reason why issues never get solved is because of the fear of disappointing the people that bought your fight when you were upset or grieving. Fighting is not just the two people, but the external forces involved, especially if the external force is the family. A fight can never be resolved. It's a fight you can't make up your mind to face. Damn the consequences and cut away the people that contributed to it. The reason why a fight lasts longer is most times one party doesn't have a mind of their own. You can love and wish two people to be together, but you also have to love them with the same energy when don't want to be together or even... When they make mistakes, love is not conditional. Many celebrities reacted. Netizens, online in laws, Nigerians, fans, they have reacted. Now, guys, let's look at this scenario. Let's judge this from another perspective. You know, in a family, it's always good for parents to, you know, share the love amongst their children equally. Don't come and be doing, this is my favorite, this is my favorite. To be honest, if you trace the course of these people's fights, if you trace it to the, to, to the roots, you will understand where the problem is coming from. Yes, we know that Paul and Peter, they are twins, which does not guarantee equal love showed to them by their parents. For this fights to constantly be happening it definitely shows that this problem has always been there maybe just maybe jude okoye was loved paul okoye was also loved leaving peter behind not necessarily the parents the mother did not love um, peter okoye but the quality of love the parents might have shown to Paul and Jude, we are different from that of the one they showed Peter. Now, Jude managed them. And, you know, three is always a crowd. Two is always better. Secondly, it could be that Paul and Peter, they were never agreeing with each other. The bond between them as twins was not strong enough. They were never into each other as twins they are. In a family, there must be somebody that your spirit sink in line with his own, warranting the other party to take advantage of the situation. Or it could be, just maybe, Jude is jealous of their sources, of Paul Okoye and Peter Okoye's sources, allegedly, then decided to use one way or the other to cause a rift between them for his own advantage. So he allegedly teamed up with Paul Okoye against Peter Okoye. These are the three things that I think is the problem here. Either from their childhood, the problem has been there from their childhood. No bond, no strong bond, jealousy. Now, what I don't understand is how Jude Okoye's wife allowed herself to be used in all this. As for Paul Okoye's ex-wife, Aneta Okoye, some people have been saying, what is her business? Why is she talking now? We thought they, they have a cordial relationship. Or the whole Saint, Holy Saint, Saint, Saint uh, Maria's attitude in open and in open, and the divorce did not pain her. Why all of a sudden she's now putting her mouth inside this matter? Aneta has a lot to say. I think her hands are tied. I think her hands are tied. If she's given the opportunity with what she displayed today, 
believe you me, if she's given the opportunity to talk, she will talk. It's either she's just um she doesn't want to say something that that may offend the other family members. Aneta Okoye is in a cordial relationship with others. So she is still in a cordial relationship with Peter Okoye's family, not Jude Okoye's family. Because I've been following, I'm following these people. I've been following them for a long time. And I have never come across Aneta reposting a former Okoye's picture on her birthdays, um, Jude Okoye's picture on his birthdays, you know, celebrate him, even post her own children. You know, post um, Ifoma and um, Jude Okoye's children on her status, the way she always does with Peter Okoye and uh, Lola Okoye's children. And for her to react also means that she was never in support of her ex-husband's actions. She was never in support of all the things they have done and still doing to Peter Okoye. Another big question that I want to ask is, if for my IV, I don't know, <laughs> seeing all this, eh? Because sometimes all these things, they have a way of affecting who? Affecting, it might not really affect the people involved, you know, but the children, the innocent children will inherit their father's hatred. Now, if for my IV, seeing all this, <laughs> hope she's buckling up. Hope she's not doing the, my husband, my husband, my husband, she's standing on the truth. Hope, oh, because had it been Aneta is not standing on the truth, the kind of relationship she has with Peter Okoy, I don't think she will have it. And I think there was a time, yes, I think I can, I can recall, I think there was a time um, Ifoma reposted Aneta's picture, you know, during her, one of her celebrations or her achievements, you know, she reposted, if I'm, if I'm mistaken, guys, if I have, if I made a mistake, please, I stand to be quoted in the comment section. I think this rift, is not even affecting the wives. Like, they don't even give a hoot about what their husbands are doing, you know. I know what I'm saying, you know. She better not get involved. Don't go and bring problem to her children by involving herself in all this. She better just stand in the middle, just watch them do their things and settle among themselves. Don't even put, don't even, hey, hey, family matter. <laughs> Wife, want you kid? You're, you're, you go here, her. Um, it is well. That being said, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. Please do give this video a massive thumbs up and remember to smash on your red subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your bell notification to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos on this channel. We react, analyze, we give trending G celebrity news, true crime, my true crime stories, and to my Tony subscribers. Thank you for always watching, liking, commenting, and sharing. Bye bye for now. As I'm signing off for my next one, peace out. I love you all. Okay, Mr. Nungana, bye.